John? Um, first off, the two responses given so far cover, I think, the most important things already. Um, Gordon talked about the, the need for an underlying passion and enjoyment. If you don't have that, you're not going to have the longevity that is required. In order to build skills, which is ultimately everything's going to come down to your ability to build skills, you've got to have some kind of underlying passion and enjoyment, which will keep you in the game long enough to build world championship skills. It's going to take a minimum of five years and quite possibly considerably longer than that. Um, George talked about the idea of community. You're not going to make it by yourself. So you've got to be able to build people around you and uh, and build a, a trusting environment around you to develop those skills. Um, what I would add to the, the excellent points that both already raised alludes to what I said at the start of this podcast. You've got to be able to identify some kind of undervalued elements in whatever industry you're in and show the world what their true value is. In addition, you can't go through life doing the same things as everybody else and expecting to get different results. This is straightforwardly irrational, and worse, it's even arrogant. It's essentially the statement that I'm going to do the same thing as everyone else, but I believe I'm different, and so they'll work for me, but they didn't work for everyone else. That's like saying, no, I'm special. No, you're not special. We're all pretty much the same. And um, in order to be special, you're going to have to exhibit skills that other people simply don't have. Um, thirdly, I would say if you want to become something truly impressive in life, you've got to be able to focus on one or two things that you do better than anyone else in your industry. You can't learn everything, but you can get one or two skills, and the more innovative those skills are, the better and you can truly excel at them. For example, at the peak of his career, no one in the world was better than George St. Pierre at integrating striking and takedowns. No one in the world was better at integrating grappling and striking on the ground. He had two things that he could confidently say he was the best in the world at. Was he the best at every MMA skill? Nope, but he was absolutely the best at those two skills. And those two skills were skills which he used throughout his career to win the vast majority of his matches. Gordon Ryan, at the onset of his career, could confidently say, there's no one in the world better than me at leg locks. He could also say, there's no one better in the world than me at late stage defense to submission holds across the board. As he went through his career, he started adding more and more elements. It's gotten to an extraordinary degree now where you could absolutely say he's the best at guard passing, the best at guard retention, and it, the list just keeps going on. And that goes back to what um, Gordon said earlier about keeping things interesting over time, because we're always introducing new skill sets. The day you start saying, I'm satisfied with my skill set, is the day you get bored. And bored, boredom to an athlete is a precursor to death by boredom. Um, as long as you're still growing in those directions, you'll stay in the game for, for very long periods of time. So the main thing I would add to these uh, uh, statements by Gordon and George is this idea of finding something which is currently undervalued and showing the world what its true value is. Understanding that you can't just use the same training methodologies as everyone else and somehow expect to be different from everyone else. You've got to Almost every great rise in human civilization, whether it be groups of people or individuals, required some kind of innovation. You've got to look for that new angle. Okay, George St. Pierre found it with shoot boxing early on in his career. Uh, Gordon Ryan found it with leg locks early on in his career, and they branched out from that uh, from that angle. Add to this the idea that you want to become the absolute best in the world in your industry in one or two things that make a difference. Find out what they are and focus on those things and you'll go far.